On New Time at 5 o'clock, we're helping you whip up some tasty side dishes that won't have you spending a ton of time in the kitchen this Thanksgiving. Our friends from Texas Roadhouse in Bossier City are showing us how to put together a great side dish. Jason McKinney, the managing partner from Texas Roadhouse, joins us. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Yeah. Thanksgiving, a time to spend with family, right? You want to have a great meal, but you don't want to spend three, four hours in the kitchen. And you're showing us how to make some quick whipped mashed potatoes that will have everybody drooling. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Way. So. First thing you want to do is you want to take your potatoes and you want to clean them because potatoes come out looking like this mm -hmm. and that's all dirt and grime and we don't want that. But you so need them looking like that. that. Yeah, so we're going to take them, we're going to scrub them down and make sure they're nice and pretty like that. Okay. Now, next step is you're going to want to take the uh, peeler and peel it however you want to, mm -hmm. however many, if you want it all gone, no skin or some skin. Me, I like a little bit of skin, so if you want to peel that. And this is a, uh, kind of looked at it, I kind of do a little quarter. Okay. Four little strips. zebra stripes. Yeah. Around. Okay. So, then you're going to cut those up a little bit. And the reason you want to cut them up is you cut them into smaller pieces, they'll cook faster. Talk okay, what do you recommend? About how big? I, I like to cut them into, uh, I quarter them, okay. and then I'll just cut them down, depending on the size of the potato, just, you know, to you get about, probably silver dollar size cuts. Okay. Throw those in the, in the pan, and then after that, we are going to add some water. All right. So, got it like that. So after you get all that, what we're going to do is we're going to take some water. Okay. And we're going to put water in the pan, and we're going to fill it up to where it just covers the potatoes. Okay. All right, so we're going to pour them in there. Good. So you don't necessarily need six, eight uh, quarts of water when you're doing your potatoes, just enough to get them saturated. Just enough. Okay. Just enough for it to cover it up, and you're going to cover it, and you're going to cook that until they're fork tender. Mm -hmm. Depending on the type of potatoes, if it's a Idaho potato, uh, it could take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, a North Dakota, uh, probably about 10. Is that right? So the yeah. different type of potatoes, you really have to pay attention to your cook time. Yes, uh, water content will we'll do that. So okay. North well, I got Dakota's my potato peeled over All here, right. Jason. So I want to yeah, throw them in there. I'll <laughs> go faster. I just make sure you get the work some. Okay. So right. you got your potatoes boiling. What do you do next? Got okay, you got them up to fork tender. What you're going to do is you're going to add in. You're going to take them out. Mm -hmm. You're going to put them through the colander, drain all that all that water out. Okay. Put them back in the pan. Okay. Okay. So after you put them back in the pan, you're going to add milk. Okay. And then you'll add some butter. Okay. Because you've got to have butter in pretty much everything in the south, right. correct? All right. And lots of it. Whip it up. Mix it up until it's to, the, to where you like. You know, I like a little lumps, you know, like mom used to make, so right. I know they're real potatoes. All right. After that, you're going to get them all, whip them up all good. You're going to get them, and you're going to get them nice and pretty and mixed up. Let's nice. take a look at that. And that's the finished product. So that's why you leave the skin on there, too, to yeah. give that little uh, bit of texture, a little bit of uh, added flavor, I guess, yes. when you're uh, being biting into yeah. it. All the good vitamins are in the skin. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very so good. After that, you're going to add your salt and your pepper. And then you're going to take it, and you want to use a spatula at this point okay. to mix it in, just because since they're as thick as they are, it makes it a little bit easier to mix it up. Get you nice and mixed. Fold that in, beautiful. Fold it in, nice and pretty, and now you're done. So total prep time on this whole uh, side dish is what? 20 minutes max. Nice, great. You're not max. spending all day in the kitchen. Yeah. I'm going to grab myself a spoon here. I want to give a taste to this, Jason. And of course, I've had your food before, so I know this is going to be A-OK. -okay. Delicious. Delicious. Perfect. Perfectly awesome. well done. Thank you, my friend. Now, Absolutely. of course, this recipe will be on our website, arclatechshomepage.com, as well as others from Jason and the Texas Roadhouse. And if people don't want to cook their own Thanksgiving meal, of course, they can always come see you in Bossier City, right? Yeah, we'll be open Wednesday, and we'll open up for lunch on Black Friday. So when you finish shopping, swing by and grab some food. Awesome. Appreciate you being sure. here. We're back Absolutely. with more news right after the break.